Welcome Scorpio Sagittarius to your numerology reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what numbers we have this month for you. Let's see what Spirit has to say to you. Okay, what's going on? Completion. Look at that. Breaking down to one, having a new beginning with a love partnership. Wow. So it looks like you have some kind of karmic completion that's going on with a love partnership. Um, that does not mean that that, you know, has to be that the love partnership is over. It could be a karmic completion to get a new love partnership. So we're going to really look at that because um, we have this six plus two, which is bringing in the eight. And the eight is talking about, hey, hello, harmonizing. Um, talking about that manifestation, that abundance, and within a love relationship. So, very beautiful. Um, yeah. Really bringing in that harmony. And uh, aspirations. Let's not forget about that. Having security, control. Um, but there also could have been, um, from a, a past karmic completion, you might have also gotten through some kind of resentment going on um, in which you've now... Um, taking care of that um, but you do have the karmic completion so talking about the karmic completion over here is talking about ending that cycle where you successfully have clear, cleared a contract or debt with the past um, this could refer to the, any challenging situation you've recently conquered in your life or troubling experience with the individual that involved a great deal of pain or effort and that's why I was saying you could have gotten past one that you were holding maybe some resentment towards and now it could be bringing in a new beautiful love partnership we will see um, like I said but um, with the um, love partnership over here it's talking about romantic relationship is about to enter your life see that's what I was saying it feels to me like you have gotten past something that was resented some pains of the past that you have um, healed from and now a new love partnership is coming in um, wow and it says that you are probably single and about to meet someone special wow and if so, um, if you would do it to have some kind of karmic completion, you can say that I have someone already, um, then this could just be progressing to a deeper level of understanding and commitment with this other person because you guys have gotten past all the hurts and pains um, that you've already maybe put yourself through together, um, completing those debts together um, to allow this relationship to deepen as well. So take it how it resonates. It's a little bit different for everyone. But Spirit is really bringing that in that, look, you've completed that no matter what, and your love partnership is looking wonderful, however it resonates with you. Beautiful. So going over here to the karmic completion. Clarify on the karmic completion, please. Giving and receiving, bringing in the six. Wow, for the harmony and the peace again. So giving and receiving, and it does feel like that, right? I've given. Um, to the universe and then I receive it back. So, wow, guys, really learning about that giving and receiving, right? It's the same as pretty much the Six of Pentacles. So that is really talking about how you've like opened up, you've shared, you've asked for the balance, you've looked through the balance. And when this card appears, the relationships take on loving, balanced energy. You've worked hard to understand yourself and others and it's now paying off. You're being rewarded with joy and fulfillment and is there someone in your life who could benefit from what you've learned about the matters of the heart? And I said, if it's you and another person who have gotten through these hurts and pains, you guys now have broken those bonds of karmic debt and you are now being able to solve the problems um, or you have done all that on your own and are ready for this new beautiful relationship. Let's see what the next card has to say. Wow, giving and receiving. That is so beautiful. Okay, so love partnership. Clarify on the love partnership, please. For Scorpio Sage. Really taking the lead over here. Wow. 
Wow, taking the lead in love, in a relationship, allowing yourself to open up to take the lead, to seek the truth, to know, to just know things and understand things. Um, and it's like you're in a better understanding area um, to where you can take the lead for a love relationship to really open up because you have the enthusiasm now to have the love. You have the initiation. You have the initiative to give the love. Wow. And it's because you've given and received. So you're like, I get it. I understand. Um, and then having this brings in this new opportunity of opening up for this person um, or, you know, whatever the person is, whether it's a new person or you're the person you already have. But it's really what it is, is it's, it's opening up and igniting the passion of the heart um, so that way that you can be bold and take on the new experiences of the, the uh, love relationship in a new daring light. And, and like I said, and also it's because Spirit says you have learned the giving and receiving and the understanding of um, what was going on within the, with the, within the relationship itself, right? Wow. So clarifying on the giving and receiving. The king of coins. It could have been with a Taurus that you have done this with. Um, it could either be that a Taurus has hurt you in the past and you have learned to um, get past those misgivings, understanding giving and receiving, or this could be the person that you are um, learning with, right? However it was for you. Um, however it is, it's giving back the nurturing and the love and opening up to the nurturing and the love, um, really bringing in, um, the giving, you know, I just, wow. I just, I just keep seeing giving, giving. You're so giving. It's like something you haven't done in a long time, but you've been working so hard on. Yeah. And it is, it's because you've kept the blessings and you've kept the faith in doing so. Um, and it definitely could be a Taurus for some of you. And it's almost like you've kept your prayers alive. You've asked for the forgiveness. You, you, you know, dug deep over here in having the understanding, the belief and keeping the relationship alive or wanting a, a better relationship so that you have learned, um, and you've asked for the forgiveness and you, you've just done all the homework. I, you know, take it how it resonates. There's a lot of homework that was done, a lot of healing. Taking the lead over here. <clears throat> Getting past the challenges and the obstacles and not allowing challenges and obstacles like that to affect you anymore. Um, and it feels like, you know what, I've taken the lead over any kind of obstacles and challenges that want to come into my way because I've learned that I don't need to hold on to those type of feelings. I don't need to hold on to that kind of stuff. I um, mean, that's really what it is, stuff, right? It really is just stuff. So it really is, hey, you know what? I understand that there was difficulties and I've taken the lead past them. I'm ready for this new love relationship. I'm ready for the new challenges. I'm ready for the new love because I have the greater understanding and wisdom that goes with this. I've dug deep and I've done my homework and I know how to keep myself balanced. Um, and I've really come into a spiritual point within my life um, to where I can see right deeper in my cup of love um, and keeping my emotional waters and having the understanding of what love is um, and how we can get through this or how I can take action and be assertive towards um, having this greater um, love experience. And like I said, for some of you, it could even be a reconciliation and it could even be with this Pisces um, cause now I'm getting a lot of Pisces. Um, so it could be a Taurus or a Pisces. Wow. Or a Leo too, huh? Um, or this fire sign. It could be anybody. Um, but however it is, it's, I'm seeing how, you know, to take the lead and to actually, um, I don't know. It's just kind of like, um, asserting myself to the greater experience of love. It's like I've learned from the past with the high priestess and I'm ready to take this, this new step. Okay. See what your soul wants you to know over here. Wow. Your soul wants you to know your spirit guide wants you to know higher self. Take it how it resonates. Everybody has, you know, 
somebody who watches them, it's different. Take it how it is. Um, let's see what it is, though. It's, ooh, look at that. Playfulness. My joy and greater gift that I give to others is going to be through the placefulness. And maybe that's what you're finding over there as you're giving and receiving that, you know, life is, doesn't have to be always so serious. Uh, maybe we just need to be a little more playful, open up and exert more energy towards the happiness, the joy and being a little more playful instead of always, uh, you know, being in conflict. So I just feel like the new partnership that you are taking on is going to be more playful, more happy and more um I'm going to say kind of innocent in its own way um, with the playfulness. Why is it innocence? Because it doesn't have to be so controlling, right? And it just feels like you got out of some kind of relationship from the past with the past completion that maybe it was too controlling. There was too much this. There was too much that. And you're saying, you know, I just want something a little more lighthearted. I want something a little more playful. I want to love. I don't want to be in control. I don't want to be controlled. I just want to have playfulness and live life with true love. And it feels that's exactly what this is. Wow. So I'm going to grab some um, Angel Romance cards. I'm actually going to grab um, two different cards. I'm going to, you know, and then you can figure out which one is good for you. Um, and the reason is because some of you are learning to love with someone else and you guys are coming into a deeper relationship with each other. Um, and then others of you are healing from out of a bad relationship into a better relationship. And maybe it's even two in one. Maybe you couldn't really take the new love relationship because you were still hurt from the, the past. So it's going to be a little bit different for everybody. Um, but I'm going to grab two cards. This could be the one. You've already met this romantic per partner you seek. Playfulness. Oh my goodness, there it is. Wow. And what does the playfulness over here for the romance say? Because we know what this one is. This one's, you know, I just want things to be a little more lighthearted. So this one says to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And that's where that innocence was coming through. Like I said, it felt like it was a little more innocent. And that's what it's talking about. The inner youthful spirit of just having a good time with someone. Wow, that's really, that's really awesome. Because this one says, my joy is great. The greatest gift that I can give to others through playfulness. And then this one's really capturing it from that love experience that I was picking up about how it felt like it would needed to be a little more innocent, a little more fun, recapturing life, um, you know, instead of everything just being, like, so serious. I don't know, I just kept feeling it's so serious. It stopped being so serious. Um, and then this one could be you the one, right? Because you already know this person, and it could be you and this person recapturing the playfulness, right? Learning that life doesn't have to be so serious, right? Um, to where you're hurting each other all the time, you can literally give and receive. Um, and then for others of you, like I said, you're, you know, getting past all that to get to this new relationship and you're saying, I'm going to open up my new relationship, but I'm going to find someone who's more playful. I want to find someone who can actually have a little fun and not be so damn serious. God, we only live once. Come on, guys. Right? If I say I want to swing on the swing, I expect you to take me to the park and swing me on the swing. I don't care if I'm 80 years old, you know? I will just be sure to hold on really tight so I don't fall break a hip, right? But in seriousness, that's all I'm asking for. How hard is it? You're going to tell me that you can't love me enough to bring me to the park to swing me on a, on a swing because you're too serious? I don't know. I just kind of felt that and it kind of got me kind of mad because it was kind of like love is love. And you know what? Sometimes life is so boring. And so just traditional, traditional, just every day, roundabout, let's sit down and watch TV, you know, and it's like, well, where's the real fun? Where's the playfulness? Where's this? Where's that? You know, it just gets to the point where it becomes dry, right? So it feels like this is the place for you right now where you're saying, I could use something that's not so dry, right? I need, if I'm going to get some dry, I want to go to the beach. Even the beach itself is a little wet. <laughs> romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like you need this playfulness and this romantic feeling, not all this control and this, this boringness and, and, you know, 
everybody's hurting each other because there's just too, it's just too dry, it's too standard, it's just not enough giving and receiving. Maybe you're giving and they're not receiving and oh, you know what I mean? And it just gets bleh, right? And then we end up hurting each other and then sour feelings happen and then it's like, I don't even want love anymore. Screw your love, right? But now you're recapturing it and you're saying, no, I'm ready now. I'm ready because I've come to the conclusion there are people in the world and you just met this person or you're getting ready to meet this person or you and this person just had this coming together where you've both decided, you know what, we both need playfulness. And that will recapture the love. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love.